Hey, hey, hey. Alright everybody, how's it going? Now then, just a quick video for any Vauxhall Mariva owners, or maybe any other Vauxhall or any car. Um, I wanted to change the uh, coolant antifreeze on the car because the car's at, you know, it's about seven and a half years old, probably never been changed, so I thought I'd change it anyway, right? So I looked online and I, I think I found the cheapest antifreeze in the world. <laughs> Um, you know, Manol is ready mixed, about six litres, I think it was £13.99 and the reason why I bought it ready mixed is because if you buy concentrate uh, they do say that you're not supposed to put tap water in with um, just normal tap water, it's not supposed to go in with the antifreeze. I don't know much of a difference it makes, I don't know if garages put tap water in or not, but you're supposed to put, I think it's softened water in. Um, something like that you're not supposed to use um oh, what's that what's that water they put in batteries distilled you're not supposed to put distilled in either so anyway that's what they said when i locked it up so i bought it pre-mixed so i know everything's tickety-boo the mixture's correct and everything's fine so uh on the 1.4 mariva non-turbo it says six liters i bought six liters but i'm draining it through the drain plug which i'll show in a minute and you won't really get everything out of the engine so it won't take six litres it'll probably still be two left in the in the car we'll only get four in but you've got to buy the correct amount for your car blah 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 i'm waffling on anyway but um anyway cheap antifreeze in the car it's so easy to do your mother could do it and if your mother's a mechanic it makes it even better <laughs> mine's not i don't know what i'm talking about now anyway let's have a look So I thought I'd change the antifreeze coolant on the Mariva here and if you look at the front of the car here this is 1.4 not turbo just normal 1.4 if you go down here obviously I've got a little container at the moment I'm gonna get a bigger container but if you go up here like this and pop up there you see there there is a little drain plug I can put a light on a minute and then there we go. See that there like you under this little plastic drain plug. Um well I'll, I'll undo it a bit further now in a minute. Because uh I gotta come out slow just to, just for a second, let things calm down. I'll undo it a bit more in a minute, but anyway, it's draining into this tiny tiny container at the moment. <laughs> there we go. There it is look. Like. Right, okay, I've been letting that drain for about 20 minutes so far. And if you look in there, it's only, it's lucky if it's three litres in there, to be honest. Uh, it is marks on the side of the bucket, I don't know what it says, 10 litres, I can't see. But the car's jacked up on the one side, so I'm going to have to lower the car down now. See, the car's jacked up, I'm going to have to lower the car down to get as much out as possible. And obviously this bucket is too tall once I lower it down. I haven't got a bowl. I can't use my own washing up bowl because obviously um, antifreeze is extremely poisonous. Don't chuck it on the floor so animals can lick it. Be sensible. Um, don't get in your mouth, don't get in your eyes, don't get in your hands. It's not very really good for you. Anyway, I'm going to jack it down and see if I can get some more stuff out. So I measured, I measured how much um, I measured Oh, I can't even speak. Right, so I, me I measured how much came out, and it was two and a half litres was all that came out. <laughs> so, and if you can see with this engine, we've got a high hose there, and a high hose here. <laughs> high hose, high hose. So, uh, a lot of the fluid stays in the engine, and it's difficult to get out. So, I think the only thing I can do is run this engine now and let that, let that two and a half litres circulate and then empty it again and then fill it back up and that's the best I can do I think. Um, at least there'll be some mostly new stuff in there. Uh, a bit strange you can't, uh, not a lot comes out does it but uh, there we are. Maybe if we put some pressure on 
if you had like a pressurised system on there, maybe to push it out. I'm not sure. I don't know. How do they do it in the garage? If you know, let, let me know in the comment section and uh, tell me how they get everything out of the car. Anyway, I think I'll leave it, leave it for now anyway. And um, let it circulate and come back out again. I mean, I'll, I'll drain it again and then put another two and a half litres in. I'm going to take it for a run now, because um, just to make sure all the air is out of the system. Okay then, so there you go. I couldn't get all the fluid out uh, because the... Uh, what it is, that on that, that particular engine, the water pump is quite high. It's just the way it's designed. So the, the, the pump comes out at the top, the, the hose from the water pump. So it's hard to get all the water out. Now, if you look online, I, I didn't have to look online, but if you did look online, it does say to try and flush the um, flush the old fluid out with an old pipe or whatever, I suppose. But if I did that, I'd be left with water, just pure water in the engine. So that wouldn't work either. So <laughs> anyway, it's just one of them things. I'll have to do it a couple of times. Um, and I, like I did say in the video, if when you when you if you're doing that particular engine, is a 13 mil span that goes on that plastic drain plug. You know, it'll be quite brittle because it's warm down here. So if you wrench it up hard, it's going to snap. So just, just a little nip up should be fine. Um, so I hope that helps anybody with a Mariva B 1.4. Um, and if you like this video at all, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, hit the bell, do them sorts of things. And I'll see you in the next one. Hoi!